Hi everyone, welcome back to ASFC Chemistry and I've just put some ideas together for you about a molecule of paracetamol and its synthesis. Now all of this is going to be studied in the um, synthetic roots booklet that you cover in the second year of our course under the new A level which is OCRA starting from 2015. Now what you've got here is a molecule of paracetamol which has got functional groups in which are quite familiar to us. We've got an OH on a benzene ring which is a phenol group just here and we can see here that this would be acidic but also because it's got a secondary amine function here it can actually have an alkali feature. Now this is also an amide functional group which I'll get to very shortly and this whole section is added on and developed from work you do in the second year of the A-level. Now what we're starting off with over here is we actually start off with a molecule of uh, phenol and this reacts in an electrophilic substitution mechanism and we can see here we've got the NO2 plus which is from nitric acid and sulfuric acid with the sulfuric acid being the catalyst. Temperature for this reaction is around 55 degrees C, but don't worry too much about that just yet. Now we can see that we're reaching out here from the delocalized ring structure here of electrons, picks up the electrophile, which is the NO2+, sometimes described as the inorganic electrophile. And then over here we have an intermediate with a broken aromaticity, positive charge in the uh, edge here just represents that. And we can see how an H bond is now broken there, so a bond to hydrogen, and we're left with the NO2 in this position here. Now the OH is an electron donating substituent to the benzene ring and so that means that we're likely to form the two and four substitutions of the NO2 group on here. Now this and knowing that the OH is an electron donating group is brand new to the specification and so you need to make sure you're aware that you could add it on to here position two so we count the OH as position one so that would be position two or we could add it to position four. If the OH was an electron withdrawing group, it would go to position three. And again, just to repeat, that's brand new to the A-level and you need to be aware of it. Now, what you can see over here is in my next step, so I'm working towards this paracetamol. In the next step, I've taken the two position, NO2. I've kind of ditched this one for now, I suppose. And I'm going to change the NO2 to an NH2. And I can do this using tin and HCl, which is a reduction reaction. So I can change this NO2 to an NH2 using a reduction of tin and hydrochloric acid. Now, another feature that's brand new to the specification would be taking this amine group and reacting it with an acyl chloride. Now, the acyl chloride looks like a carboxylic acid, except instead of an OH, we have a Cl just here. And then in this particular instance, I would put a CH3 like that. These two are going to react together. And in order to make a new connection, which we can actually see here between this nitrogen and this carbon, it's this carbon here and this nitrogen, they would actually release a molecule of HCl, which we would, which we would see released very violently um, as a white misty fume. Now this acyl chloride then reacting with this amine will form this amide connection just here. Furthermore, to something else we can see in the specification is this is an amide link and we know amides can be hydrolyzed. And so we could perhaps use some acid and some H2O and we could hydrolyze this back into an amine and then to a carboxylic acid instead of this acyl chloride that I initially used over here. You don't need to know a mechanism for anything here other than the electrophilic substitution. There is a mechanism available for these two reacting together, but you don't need to be aware of it on the OCRA specification. So please don't go looking for it unless you're looking to just broaden your understanding of the reaction that's taking place. I'm going to leave you with that for now. There's going to be more of these molecule analysis coming up very shortly. And until then, happy revising.